Welcome back everybody and today we're going to be discussing a very particular chapter, ATA chapter 52, aircraft doors. Obviously doors are for entry and exit, but one of the most important functions they have is emergency exit. I'm sure plenty of you have seen that doors contain slides or slide rafts. In an emergency evacuation, people can escape the aircraft. But one thing that you don't notice is what's actually behind the door and the mechanism behind the door. Not only are these doors very heavy, but they also have a mechanism behind them to assist in opening. Today we're going to run through four different aircraft and four different styles of assist. This is an Airbus A320 family, and what you're looking at is a door dampener emergency operation cylinder. The little yellow cap you see there is the servicing port along with the Schrader valve and a gauge. When used or depleted, the system can be serviced by nitrogen. The primary purpose of this is to dampen the movement of the door when opening or closing, especially under abnormal conditions, such as heavy winds or loads. But the unit also serves as an emergency opening device. It is preloaded to almost about 2000 PSI, and when you need to rapidly open a door during an emergency evacuation, guess what, that door is gonna swing open right away, just like that. To make sure you get out as quick as possible. Obviously the slide will deploy. The slide is connected mechanically via a girt bar at the bottom of the door. When the slide is armed via the arm handle, it will affect the gas cylinder that is attached to that door and the emergency operation cylinder. The gas which operates the cylinder is released when a door upward movement causes the pivoting to stop the lever to actuate the gas lever or I should say the release lever. Basically, it shears a little bellows in there and allows the gas to enter that little unit and rapidly open the door, as you saw there, allowing the slide to deploy and for you to escape quickly. So yeah, pretty cool system, right? Time to time, these cylinders do get low, but we as maintenance monitor this so we can resurface it. That's airplane number one. Let's go to airplane number two. This is a Boeing 787. Very unique. Let's take a look what's going on back here. The 787 has a similar approach, but a different design. This is called the EPA system, E-P-A-S, Emergency Power Assist System. Same concept, when a door is armed and is open from the inside, yep, it's going to blow that little bottle right up top. The difference here is that's a one-time use bottle. Once you blow it, that's it, you gotta replace it. The power that this aircraft gets to this system, because it is an emergency system, is directly from the aircraft. This module has capacitors that provide firing current for squibs. In a recent visit to Eaton, I actually got to see it off the aircraft and on the bench. They were refurbishing them right there. But the module itself supplies data to the CCS, Common Core System, and the CAN, Control Area Network. And it's supplied by a 28 volt system from direct DC current of the power bus of the aircraft. Works much the same way as the other ones. Not only will it dampen the door from opening and closing, but it will also create that emergency escape portion of it, rapidly opening a door so you can get out. And as well as deploy the slide, which is embedded in the door. One thing I gotta remind you, these doors are very, very heavy. On to the next one, the 777. This is the Boeing 777, and this is what the door looks like. All right, let's take a look behind this big boy. Once again, a big, big, massive door. But a little difference in Boeing design on this one. This one actually uses a chain. The chain keeps the door aligned when opening and closing, but it's also attached to that little actuator. Once again, a dampening actuator or a door assist actuator. The three primary parts here is the reservoir, the actuator, and a very, very special battery pack. That's the difference on this aircraft. It does not rely on aircraft power. It has its own power. That's the little green light that you see blinking. Every door has a battery pack. Matter of fact, on a Dash 300s, they actually have two battery packs because they need it for the spoiler squibs as well. It's called the same system, the EPUS. Just like the rest, when a door is armed and you pull that lever to open the door, that cylinder right there that has a pre-charge in there will release, blow the squib, and release that energy into the actuator. We as maintenance are tasked to making sure those battery packs are fully charged and up to date. And that's how that door works. Very intricate, but very interesting. All right, last but not least, the good old 737. Well, sorry to tell you guys, 1960s technology still stays 1960s technology. Yeah, this door has zero assist. Not only that, it's one of the most awkward doors to open and close. Matter of fact, it dips in before it comes out. But it's still a good door. 
Now let me show you. It does have a dampening feature, but the dampening is not for assistance of the door to open up quickly because again, this one also has slides which have to be installed manually. I should say the girt bar needs to be installed manually, but it does have a dampener, which is right there. Boeing decided to call this one a door snubber. What it does is basically slows down the door from making sure that it doesn't slam as you open it or close it. Once again, take a look how a bit of awkwardness it takes. I know flight attendants that work on 737s that completely hate this door, but yeah, it is what it is. But overall, that's why these systems exist for the safety of you, number one and foremost, and the safety of the aircraft. Making sure these heavy, big lumbering doors can open and close and you can get out quick. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this and learned something new. I will see you later.